Hi, I'm Mackenzie, and I'm going to be showing you how to register on Morris. To log in, enter your user ID, which is your nine-digit student number and PIN. If this is your first time logging in, your PIN will be your date of birth, two numbers for the month, day, and year. Then you'll be prompted to select your own password and answer some security questions. If you've logged on before, use the password you created. Once you are logged in, you can see there are three tabs, personal information, student services, and student awards and financial aid. Loris is where you will go to apply for scholarships, download your e-bill, and find your tax forms. To show you how to register for courses, we're only going to be using the student services tab. Before we get started, make sure you check out the registration guide. It will show you which courses you need to take in your first year and also what electives are available for your program. We do offer a virtual schedule builder that you can use to create a schedule and quickly register with. Let's get started by clicking Registration, then Select Term. This is important because you can only register for one term at a time. If you want to flip-flop between terms, you would then have to come back to this step and change the semester. We are going to start registering for the Fall Term, so click on Fall 2015 and click Submit. Now we are brought back to the Registration tab and we are good to select the Add Drop option. I'm a communication student, so I took a look at the registration guide to see what I need to take. I only have two requirements, CS100 Media History and CS101 Mass Communications in Canada. I've also signed up for the business option, so I'll need to take those requirements as well, Business 111, Business 127, and Business 121, as well as Economics 120 and Economics 140. A full-time course load is 2.5 credits, or five half-credit courses each term. So I've selected five courses for my fall and winter semester. Outside of my required courses, I'm also going to take a few courses that I think would be interesting, or what are called electives. I'm going to start by registering for CS100 by clicking on Add or Drop Classes. I select my campus and subject and click Course Search. It will view all sections for CS100. This course has both a lecture and tutorial component. In this case, Section A refers to the lecture, and A plus a number means tutorial. I will select Lecture A and Tutorial A1 and click the Register button at the bottom of the page. This sends you back to the Add Drop Box page. Now you can see I have successfully registered for CS100. I'm also planning on taking the Business option. So now I'm going to register for my three business required courses. Business 111, Business 127, and Economics 120. As I did my research for which section I was going to take, I noticed that some sections of the courses are restricted specifically for students that are in the program. I know that I can register for section 111 P1 because it is restricted to non-business students such as myself. You can see that if I try to add a course that's restricted to business students, Loris will give me an error message. In looking at the registration guide, you can see which sections you are able to register in. I'll register into Economics 120 in my final fall elective, Psychology. This will allow me to have five courses, or 2.5 credits, a full fall term. To see the details of my schedule, I'm going to go back to the Student Services tab, selecting the Detailed Schedule, and take a look at my current schedule. Here you can see all the courses I've successfully registered in for the fall term, and other important details like time, date, and class location. Next off, we will go through registering for the winter term. This time I'll be using the worksheet function. The worksheet collects CRNs, or course record numbers, and allows you to register in one shot. CRNs are unique numbers attached to the section. 
Every lecture, lab, tutorial, and screening has its own number. The CRN can be taken from our virtual schedule builder or when you search for courses on Loris. As you can see, you can keep adding the numbers onto the worksheet, then hit Submit Changes to register in all classes at once. When you register for future terms, this will save you a ton of time. Here are a few important reminders. Number one, make sure you refer to the online registration guide to help see what courses are required for your program, and also to see some restrictions. Some programs require that you select very specific sections. Number two, remember when building your schedule to pick times that work for you and make time to accommodate meals, breaks, and maybe some gym time. And number three, make sure you are completing your schedule for both terms now. Waiting until the end of the fall term to create your winter schedule will leave you with few options as classes fill up really quickly. It's better to register for both terms now and not worry about it in the winter. Like before, we can go back to the detailed class schedule to confirm that we have registered in five courses or 2.5 credits and to review the details of our registration. Once you complete your registration, you may notice that you want to switch a section around. As an example, I will show you how to switch out of Business 121 and into a new section, as well as how to re-enroll into a section you were previously registered in. To do this, you must go to the Add Drop form and look at your current schedule. Under the Action tab, you want to select Drop Course and hit Submit Changes. Once the page reloads, you will see it states Drop Course next to your previous registration. Now we're going to search for a different section of Business 121. As you can see, your previous section is not an option to register in through the lookup classes. We will now select another class and click register to add the course. Now you can see that Business 121 appears twice, once where you are currently registered and once where you drop the course. If you want to switch back into the section you are previously registered in, from the action menu you will select drop course for the section you are wanting to drop and select enrolled or sometimes it might say re-enroll to get into a section you're previously in and click Submit Changes. And there you go. You successfully registered for both the fall and winter semesters. If you want any help with course registration, we encourage you to check out the Head Start program. This will allow you to come to campus and work with a peer one-on-one. -on -one. Alternatively, feel free to contact Service Laurier. We can help you in person, over the phone, or over email. Happy registering!